What's up, y'all? Today, we're talking about my boot camp struggles. Let's get into it. My first struggle, my first struggle in boot camp was me being an introvert. And I say this a little weirdly because as well as that I'm an introvert, I'm a very exciting, outgoing person around the right people. So being in boot camp, I don't know nobody. Everybody's new from all different types of places all over the world. And I feel like that just put me in a mode where it's like, I don't know nobody, I'm panicked, I'm scared. I'm away from home for the first time ever and I don't know what to do. Like, it would be times where I'm like, get loud. And I'm like, I don't have that octave in me. Like, I'm not a person that yells a lot, like a lot. I don't yell at all if you ever see me or talk to me in person. Um, so being loud was really one of my biggest struggles in boot camp. Number two, my second struggle in boot camp was learning how to deal with the the mental stress and learning at the same time. Cause during boot camp, like you have to know general orders, ranks, rates, um, who's off of the day, um, and just certain stuff like that. So trying to remember all this stuff while also getting marched down, PT'd all day. It's like, how do I balance this? How do I figure out, okay, I have to know this, but then I have to be doing this right now. So I feel like that was one of my big struggles. Cause it was like, dang, he, he's, He's getting on me because I don't know this stuff, but I can't really focus because he got me doing all these push-ups and, and he got me doing all this PT. I just can't like focus on both of them. And I'm, I'm, I'm rushing every day trying to figure out all of this and learn all of this while I'm under so much stress. Number three, the physical demandingness of boot camp. Um, it demands a lot. Like, to be honest, that swim almost took me out. There was a, a, a hundred meter swim in my boot camp, and that swim almost took me out, man. I got to that last probably 10, 15 meters, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. I'm just over here thinking about my whole family, my whole life. I'm like, shoot, all my life has like just gathered up to this one point, and if you don't make this, they could possibly kick you out of here and send you back home. You can be sitting there on the couch with your mama talking about something. I failed. And I didn't want to be that person. So I was like, shoot, I got to keep on going. My arm's tired. I got out of the pool. I couldn't even move my legs. Like, I, I was just on the side of the pool after I got out. And I was like, <laughs> time out real quick. Because it was just so physically demanding. I got out and then I, like, my, my legs were, like, so, like, tight. They were so tensed up. And then after that, they made us do the five-minute tread right after that. So we went to the bathroom. They're like, oh, you can use the bathroom, get some water. What have you got to do? Just come back off the five minute trip. I'm like, bro, my legs feel like freaking rocks right now, boulders. Like they're so tight. And you want me to get back in there and tread water for five minutes? Oh my gosh. Get back in the water and bro, my legs are killing me for five minutes straight. I almost like, when they called time and I was in the middle of the pool, I almost didn't make it back to the ledge because my legs were so tired. I had to grab onto somebody. I'm like, this is, this is crazy, man. And then sometimes, You'll be in the squad bays or in the quarter deck just getting PT until 8, 9 o'clock at night. And you already woke up at 5.30 in the morning for the last seven days. And it's like, dang, okay, this, this is getting to me. Like, I really don't want to be doing this right now. I, my eyes are tired. I'm tired. Everything going on. And you're just like, I got to keep on going. It, it's just a different mentality. You got to keep on going because they're not going to care. They don't care if you're tired. Then they're going to send you to classes. You're going to be tired. You're going to be thinking, oh, this is my break. They're going to come right behind you. Oh, you want to sleep in my class? All right, let's go down and look outside and let's do some PT. Like, it, it gets there. Like, and that's one of the things that really got me. Number four, being away from my family. Because before this, I had never been away from my family at this long of a time. Like, this is two months straight. No breaks. No phone calls, no text messages, no nothing. So, even with just trying to mail them letters and stuff like it got hard because i didn't know what to say like i had so much to say in so little time and they would literally give us like five minutes before we go to bed to send letters and stuff like that i'm like five minutes i don't even have time to write down a sentence in five minutes my fifth struggle in coast guard boot camp it is realizing you are now a part of the military and 
that will be your life for the next four years. You don't realize how much signing a paper can mean until you get some basic training. Um, because then you finally see what you signed up for. Like you can watch as many videos as possible and people will give you the, the most descriptive advice as possible, but nothing will prepare you for when you get to basic. It's so much different than watching an insider looking video like on YouTube or something like that. Like they just show you, oh, they get haircuts and they, they do PT and stuff like that, but you don't understand the, the physical, mental and stuff like that. Like you don't understand how those people feel in that exact moment. You just see what they're going through. It's like, oh, I could do that. Like when I see the, the insider video for our branch, I was like, oh, I could do that. And then you get there and you're like, yeah, I could do this, but this is way more demanding than I thought it was going to be. It was way harder than I thought it was going to be. And that's what really got to me because I was like, shoot, like this could this really going to be my life for four years, bro. Like, and of course, I'm loving it now that I'm in the fleet and I'm doing stuff. But it's like, bro, when you're sitting there and you're like, I really signed up for this, bro. I, I, I signed up for this. I signed a paper that said I would do this for four years already. I have no choice what to like to go back. It's like, bro, that that hits you. That hits you. And you're like, sheesh. I actually did that. And you know you kind of either sold yourself short or you made the right decision. There's no in-between. And you might, it might switch during your graduation day because it did for me. When I was in basic, I was like, what did I just do? Graduated, I was like, made the best decision in my life. There's no changing that. The, the feeling on graduation day is the best feeling you could ever feel in your life. Because you know everybody gonna be proud of you. No matter, it don't even matter if you have people in your corner Family, friends, nothing. Them people on that base gonna be proud of you. So it's like, dang, I'm in the military. I just did that, and this is my life now. And that's all I got for y'all today. Just five, just five things, five struggles that I had during my basic training, boot camp, whatever you want to call it. And I hope this gave y'all some insight. And I wanted to make this more a more serious video because I have a lot of. Hee ha ha videos. I, lo I love making them. I love making them. I love making all these videos for y'all just to help y'all out for real. But like, this is one that I wanted to hit home with and I hope it did. Um, and y'all just have a good one, man. Y'all be blessed. If y'all going to boot camp, hit me up in the DMs, comments, whatever you need, man. I know I got y'all. It's another great video from your boy. Who else? Feel five for me. Aye. Aye. Yeah. Uh.